What if researchers returned to Scotland's Gruinard Island to restart anthrax weapons research using modern genetic engineering? This remote island was contaminated with weaponized anthrax spores during World War II biological weapons testing. It remained completely uninhabitable for 50 years. Scientists studying the surviving spores would discover something terrifying. The anthrax had evolved in isolation for decades, creating super-resistant strains that no modern antibiotic could treat. Within weeks, migrating birds would carry the evolved pathogen to mainland Scotland. Marine currents would spread contamination throughout North Atlantic fishing grounds, threatening global food supplies. The airborne spores could remain viable for centuries, surviving extreme environmental conditions. Accidental release would create permanent exclusion zones across the Scottish Highlands. Other nations would impose strict quarantine measures, collapsing UK agricultural exports completely. A global biological arms race would begin as countries scrambled to develop counters. The most disturbing reality? Original anthrax spores may still be viable on the island today. Climate change could potentially disturb buried contamination at any moment.